Hello all, welcome to part 17 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use scenario outline and examples, Gherkin keywords, okay, as part of data driven testing. So let's get started. So in our previous session, we have used this uh, background Gherkin keyword, okay. Now in this session, I'm going to cover the other two keywords like scenario outline examples keyword, okay, keywords, which can be used for implementing data driven testing in this projects, Cucumber projects. So for that, I'll open the Eclipse ID. Here is the project we have. I'll go to one of the feature file guys, that is login.feature file. Here we have a scenario. Login with valid credentials, user enters valid email address. This is a valid email address and user enters valid password. This is a valid password clicks on the login button and you then user should log in successfully here. How many sets of data are there? Only one set of data is there. That is one username and password. Okay. For which is useful for login for one user. Okay. For one set of data is there. Okay. This scenario will run only one time. So what if I want to implement data driven testing? First of all, what is this data driven testing? Okay. Let me explain here. Data driven testing. Okay. If you want to implement data driven testing in this cucumber projects okay maybe in cucumber project then so we have to first understand what is data driven testing is let's say there is a login okay login test there is a login test okay this is a login test let's assume that this is a login test login test with valid credentials kind of test now you have multiple sets of users okay admin user teacher user uh, student user, let's say this is a school application where login login functionality is there. There are different type of users are there or you see there are a good number of teachers, good number of admin users, good number of students, a uh, hundreds of collections of data is there. So now if you have to is the login functionality for these credentials. Okay. This login test need not be written this many number of times. The same login test will use for all the credentials. Here, who is driving the testing? Here, data is driving the testing. Here, username, password of this particular admin user or some user, username, password of teacher, username, password of a student, of an admin, a teacher, a student, like that. All the list of users uh, which can access this application need to be tested. We have to test whether this all these credentials of these users are working or not. For that, I don't have to write this login test this many number of times. Rather, I'll implement this login test only one time and supply this multiple sets of data to this single test, single scenario, I will pass this many sets of data and output should be for each and every set of data output will come. Okay. That output should be login should get successful. Okay. Login should be successful. Login should be successful. Login should be successful. Okay. This is one example I am taking. Okay. So here data is driving this test instead of writing each and individual test for each and every set of data login with admin user one credentials, one test if you create login with okay admin user two credentials if you create one more test that is not a good practice rather you have to implement the same login test only one time and pass multiple sets of user data to the same test that means this single test will run the number of times the number of user data is available this data is available here data is driving this testing hence we call this testing as data driven testing okay only one test but multiple sets of data need to okay Based on the sets of data, this login test, same test need to run that many number of times and give the output corresponding output. This is called as data driven testing. Guys. If you have to implement this data driven testing in Cucumber, okay. So here we have a scenario. So here we are passing only one set of data. So what I will do is I'll update this scenario guys. I'll update this scenario. I'll convert this scenario into a data driven test scenario. It's very simple guys. Scenario space outline like this. We have to convert the scenario to scenario outline keyword. Okay. Normal scenario, scenario, uh, scenario, keyword, we have to convert to scenario outline. And at the end of the scenario, we have to write examples without any space or something. You just write example space. Okay. Here you should not give any space. Immediately, level 12th line should be example. 11th line is the last. 12th line should be examples. Okay. Now here, this I will change this. This I will change as less than and greater than symbol. And here I'll write email. Okay. Here also I'll write password. Okay. Now, whatever the names you have given here in the less than and greater than symbols, you are they are, they are getting uh, displayed in some highlighted in some orange color or something in this uh, current version. Fine. Here, I'll get a pipe symbol. I'll copy the same email here. Okay. Email and colon 
and password. Also here, pipe symbol. Okay. Now, first set of data I am going to pass. Pipe symbol. First email address I have to pass. What is the first email address? I'll go to this application. Tutorialsinja.com slash demo. Go to the login. And here, give the email address. This is the email address I have to give. One valid email address I'm giving. This is a login with valid credentials. I can pass multiple sets of valid credentials. Okay. So press tab here so that you can organize it well. Tab and here tab and say type. And here I have to give the password. Guys, password is one two three four five. Press tab. Let's tab here. That's it. Okay. Password. Email is this one. Password is this one. Now second set of data. Here only one set of data I'm not giving guys. I'm giving multiple sets of data. This scenario. Okay, should run multiple times. This test should not be a normal scenario. It should be a data driven test. For that, we are using scenario outline keyword and examples keyword. And here, under the examples, okay, we are giving multiple sets of data. Same data I'll copy paste here and uh, change the value here. I'll say three. And here, I'll copy paste. I'll say one. Okay. This, these are the three valid sets of data, guys. Okay, three valid sets of data. So, what will happen here is this email will refer to this email. So, there are three sets of data. So this particular scenario outline or scenario will run three times because three sets of data are there. This data will pass to the email, which is matching here. Okay. This password will pass it to the password. Okay. When the step arrives. Now let's run this scenario. This is the only thing that you have to do guys in the step definition. You have to change the, okay. We have to go to the step definition and change it. If you say save all, you see, these are not implemented. It is saying these two steps are not implemented earlier. They were implemented, but now I change it to email and uh, password thing, right? They are not implemented. So I'll copy these two things. I'll go to one the plugin that I have explained in one of the previous sessions that is Tidy Gherkin plugin. So I'll search in Google Tidy Gherkin. It is already installed in my browser. And go to this link of Chrome store. And here you will get launch app option. Click on launch app and you will get this Tidy Gherkin open. Just copy paste the two lines. So when user enters valid email, email and uh, enters valid password, password. Java steps. See what's happening. You are getting some steps. These are the methods you are getting when user enters. These are the steps you have to take. Copy them and replace the exist earlier steps. Okay. Go to the login.java. And earlier we have written user enters valid email address and uh, valid password. These two lines I will replace with the latest. I will copy paste the latest ones. Here I will remove this. And throw throws I will remove. From the tidy gherkin, I generated this. Why I auto generated from tidy gherkin means uh, till now, I have not explained about the regular expressions, guys. You see, Tidy Gherkin is creating some regular expression here. This is a regular expression, guys. Okay. This part is a regular expression. Before I explain this regular expression, I am auto generating it from Tidy Gherkin. In the upcoming sessions, I am going to explain this regular expression for you in detail. Okay. So, this is a parameter we are receiving, guys. Uh, this parameter will go into the email and this parameter will go into the password. Okay. Uh, and here, I'll write down system.out.println. System.out.println. Okay. User has entered valid email address. What is a valid email address entered by the user? I'll say plus email. Similarly, I'll write down system.out.println. So converting a normal scenario to a data-driven scenario, guys, using the scenario outline and examples. And here in the step definitions also, we have to replace the existing step definition methods to the uh, auto generated uh, tidy gherkin auto generated this kind of regular expression step methods okay and here i'll say user has entered valid valid password what is the valid password for all the emails the same password is there so i'll just uh, write this same password okay now that's it guys click on save all and go to the login dot feature you see the steps got implemented now okay the steps which are highlighted again got implemented now. So I'll run this login dot feature file and see whether this scenario, the first scenario is getting executed how many times? Three times the same scenario should get executed first with the first set of data. The same scenario should get executed second time with the second set of data that is a motory cap three. Third time the same scenario should be executed with a motory cap one at the right gmail.com. For that I'll run this right click run as cucumber feature. We'll see three times the same test should run with multiple sets of data. Here we'll see guys, log, uh, scenario outline got run, login with valid credentials. You see again, login with valid credentials got run. Again, login with valid credentials got run. Three times it got run. Given user navigated to login page, user has entered valid email address. You see, a motory cap nine. Okay, here 
one, two, three, four, five is the password. In the second, second time when the same scenario got run as part of data driven testing, a motor cap three is the data, one, two, three, four, five is the password. Third time when the same scenario has run, a motor cap one, it is the red gmail.com, one, two, three, four, five is the password. And remaining scenarios got run only one time. The remaining scenarios, normal scenarios, login with invalid credentials got executed only one time. Login with valid email and invalid password got executed one time. Login with invalid email address and valid password got executed one time. Login without providing any credentials got executed one time. Total seven scenarios it is saying, but our test, but our test has only one uh, only five scenarios, I guess. One, two, three, four, five scenarios. But where, where, from where seven scenarios came? Because the first test got executed three times. That's why it's counting as seven. Three plus, first one only executed three times. Three plus four, five, six, seven. Okay, instead of five, seven. Because the single test, single scenario got executed how many times? Three times because of the scenario outline and examples. And we have achieved data-driven testing with this process, right? We have to use, if you have to implement data-driven testing in Cucumber projects, okay? We should be using scenario outline and examples, okay? We should be using scenario outline and examples. So, fine guys, I have demonstrated the scenario outline and examples get in keywords and how to use them for implementing the data driven testing in the Cucumber projects, Cucumber Java projects, okay? Maven Cucumber projects. Fine. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.